There's a fungus among us. Hey everybody, welcome to the Book Nook. Today we are gonna talk about T. King Fisher's What Moves the Dead. This is a retelling of the Edgar Allan Poe story of the fall of the House of Usher. I'm not 100% sure what the exact title of it is. It's something along those lines, but it follows the same named characters. What this does is delves a little deeper into it and a little more character development and just T.K. Kingfisher, if you haven't read anything by them yet, I highly recommend um, Nettle and Bone as well had like cool fairy tale vibes with like a super dark edge to it and it was really great. And so I'd like to read you the first line of this book to give you just a taste to whet your appetite. The mushroom's gills were the deep red color of severed muscle, the almost violet shade that contrasts so dreadfully with the pale pink of viscera. So, I mean, Hey, here we go. <laughs> here we go, let's get in it. What happens is there's the House of Usher, which is this big manor out in this area called Ruravia. I believe that's how you say it. And this brother and sister live there, Madeline and Roderick. Madeline has fallen ill and she sent a letter to her friend Alex who they have known since childhood and is friends with both the brother and the sister. She wants Alex to come visit, especially cause you know, I think she's dying. And so Alex gets there, takes their horse Hob. Hob, I really like that name for a horse. It's very cute. As you get to the house of Usher, everything is decrepit and falling down and rotting. And there are mushrooms everywhere. The wildlife that is around, acts very curious and curiouser. And it's all very dark and gothic and creepy. When Alex arrives, they meet this other character, Ms. Potter, and Ms. Potter warns Alex, because Alex is about to touch this red gilled mushroom. And she's like, oh, mm, you don't want to do that. And Alex is like, why? What? Ah, I was just gonna, you know, poke the mushroom with it. And she's like, okay, well, first she gets into the fact that she's really into this this Miss Potter, super into mycology and is um, taking stock of all the mushrooms in the area and kind of lets Alex know that this area is like this crazy amount of flora and all these different mycological mushrooms and whatnot that she's kind of cataloging painting and um, illustrating. And she has a great knowledge of all this stuff, but she's like, Alex, don't, don't touch that mushroom. And then she's like, okay, cover your freaking face. And then she takes a stick and pokes it. And this mushroom emits the smell and it smells like rotting bodies and spoiled milk and with a hint of uh, fresh baked bread. <laughs> Underneath all the really gross smells. Alex is like, holy crap. Oh, what, blip, blip. All right, and then the horse is kind of like moving around. <laughs> like, what, what the crap? So that's our entryway into here. And so Alex gets that introduction to these weird mushrooms, talks to Ms. Potter, and then is like, well, I'm gonna go head up to the, the house of Usher here. And Ms. Potter like says something about hearing how they were ill and whatnot. And so Alex goes there, you know, knocks on the door, a servant answers and they're like, hey, uh, I got a letter that Madeline is ill, I'm here, here I am. So they, they let Alex in and Alex walks in and all of a sudden like someone's like, what are you doing here? And it's Roderick, the brother. And Roderick and Alex served in the the military together. And this takes place in the 1890s. Roderick's like, what are you doing here? And Alex is like, uh, Madeline wrote me and said she was really ill. So, you know, I'm, I'm here, you know, to see her. It seems pretty dire. And yeah, this house is just kind of, it's really dark and damp and just, you know, the walls are cracked. The, the wallpaper is peeling. Roderick and Madeline look like, apparently like living skeletons, just sunken in cheekbones and their eye sockets and they're so pale, stuff's weird. And Alex is like, what is going on here? At some point, there's this, what they call the tarn. It's this weird lake. There's never any like ripples. The, the creatures that are around, there are these hares, these rabbits, and they don't hop. They just kind of like cr crawl. 
<laughs> and they stare at you and they don't run away and just stuff seems to be really off with everything around this house in this area with the wildlife with them madeline sinks into like weird hysteria and just this uh this retelling of edgar Allan poe's story which i've never read the original so now i need to read the original like i kind of went and glanced at a summary and it's very similar but this gets more into it it's a very dark and creepy book it moved a little slow in the beginning i think once i got past page 50 it started to pick up where I, I mean i read it in a few hours it's very short it's very short it's a novella and i've been loving reading novellas recently because you know i read them in a couple hours and you know you have a nice succinct and enjoyable story this was uh 165 pages so it was a phenomenal retelling. I really enjoyed it. I give it four stars. The storytelling was fantastic. The character development was pretty good for, you know, what you got in about 160 pages. It's like a, it's not like a scare or jump scares. It's like a creeping horror. You're just like, oh no, don't go in there. <laughs> mycological mushroomy hallucinogenic dream of a creepy book and i mean look at that cover art the mushrooms growing into that that hair so take the cover and the story and it's it's pretty great i would highly recommend it especially if you want something that's short and sweet so if you would like to hear more about t king fisher coming up next i will have the nettle in bone video that one was a lot of fun too just great fun story with some goofy elements such as demon chickens and dogs made out of bones so that'll be next Thank you so much for hanging out. If you guys had fun hanging out, boop that like button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff. So much fun.